This month, we heard from several NYSEC customers with questions about their latest bills. Some of their bills show they use two or three times as much electricity compared to the same month the year before. Two on your size, Kelly does has some tough questions for NYSEC today, and she joins us. What did you find out? Yeah, well, Claudine, when a lot of the people contacted customer service, they were told the bills were correct, and that's the amount of electricity they actually used. So we talked with NYSEG today about how people can get a better handle on that. Earlier this month, several Two On Your Side viewers contacted us, concerned that their NYSEG bills were much higher than they were last year at the same time. Many get a mix of actual and estimated readings throughout the year. Explain why sometimes you get an actual reading and why sometimes you get an estimated reading, because I think that's where we're seeing the biggest swings on some of these bills that were sent to us. Yeah, Kelly, it all comes down to access. Um, and, you know, in some cases, maybe with older homes, some of the meters may be inside. I know that might not be a, a case for a lot of uh, your area, but this is why it's important for customers to submit their, their reads um, or have a meter reader come in and get that read because you want to make sure that you are billed based on your actual use. NYSEG communications manager Alexis Arnold told us that usage may have spiked because of the holiday. Christmas lights on had more people in the house, which, you know, generated uh, an increase in energy consumption. So there are those factors involved and sometimes, you know, how are you heating your home? Arnold says using a space heater can really cause your usage to jump and the supply price for electricity is also up. So she says if you get your supply through NYSEG, you will see about a $30 increase this winter on your bills. Also, to make sure you're getting billed for an actual reading every month, send in your meter reading. That's key. You can call it in. Um, customers don't realize they can take a photo and submit that as well. What should people look for on their meters? Like if somebody has a really old meter, could that be an issue? And would they be able to call and have somebody come out to check it out? That is a concern. You should call the customer service team. They are equipped to walk customers through, you know, what's going on. Let's take a look at your energy usage. We, they are able to compare that and try to find, you know, ways that there could be an, an issue. And if, if they need to, they could send someone out to take a look. Arnold also suggests having your heating and cooling system inspected each year by a professional to make sure it's running efficiently. There are also resources to help you pay your bill. I've posted links with this story online. On your side, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.